There's the chosen ones, and then there's like the really chosen ones, the Kohenim. Being a Kohen is a great honor. It's like a huge deal. I never really got the appeal of it because you're essentially a temple's janitor, but then I found out that the holy anointing oil and the incense that they burn all day, they're basically psychedelics. So now I get why everyone wants to be a Kohen. Welcome back to And God Was Like, Alma's Weekly Torah Portion Series. I'm your host, Ariel Kaplan, and this week I'm breaking down Parshat Ki Tisa, When You Elevate. Just to refresh your memory, Moses and God are having a 40-day and 40-night summer party on Mount Sinai. Let's get into it. Chapter 30. And God was like, yo, Moses, I got this new strain. You want to get high with me? Duh. Moses loves this weed. It gets him real twisted. And he's like, oh my God, where is it from? So Moses gets the recipe for the holy anointing oil and the incense. It's super under wraps. No one can copy it because it's exclusive to the temple. And Moses uses it to anoint everything. Chapter 31. God has no chill about anything. He's so dramatic, even when he's explaining Shabbat to Moses. And he's like, if you don't do some self-care and take a bath with some Epsom salts, write that down, I will kill you. And while they are saying goodbye to each other, the Israelites are building an idol. Chapter 32. Let's see what the Israelites are doing down under. There was a little bit of miscommunication between Moses and the Israelites. They thought that Moses meant 40 days and 40 nights starting from the day that he left, but Moses thought it was obvious it started after he left. So the Israelites were like, where the fuck is this guy? Freaking the fuck out because they're basically stranded in the desert. They lost their leader. And Aaron is like, I'm literally right here. But no one really gives a shit about Aaron. So the Israelites want to build an idol. Okay, um, I'm going to try and delay this because I know my brother is coming back like I've talked to God. To delay them, Aaron asks all the women to give him the gold jewelry they stole from Egypt so he can melt it down to create an idol. So Aaron is like, fuck, I actually have to make this thing. Throws the gold into the fire and a cow miraculously pops out. I can't believe I actually made this idol. This is really happening. Okay, think on your feet, Aaron. I got it. So he tells the Israelites that they will have a festival the next day to celebrate their new golden calf, which is really a representation of God. They're trying to connect to him. So they're like, cool, see you there. So the next morning, everyone pops a molly, they go to the calf, and they start fucking and having a massive orgy. And God was like, wow, the Israelites are cheating on me. Are you fucking kidding me? And maybe I should just kill all of them and make you a new nation, Moses. Your people suck. Bitch, what? My people? These these are your people. Moses convinces God not to kill everyone. Phew. Moses explains why God can't just keep killing all of his creations and what a PR crisis that would create. The Egyptians would mock the fuck out of him. So God sends Moses back down the mountain and we know what happens next. The tablets slip out of Butterfinger's hands and they break. But it's not because of the golden calf. It was because no one invited him to the orgy. He was like, you guys, what the fuck? No, he was really just baffled by it. You know, he doesn't have sex anymore. Moses is pissed at Aaron because he had one fucking job and he takes the calf. He melts melts it down, he grinds it into powder, mixes it into water, and forces everybody to drink the water. Whoever was guilty of participating in the sin of the golden calf would die. Then Moses made the people who didn't participate, the tribe of Levi, murder 3,000 Israelite bystanders. Chapter 33. God is not over the golden calf thing. He's like really down about it. So he's like, I'm not hanging out with you guys anymore. But Moses kind of misses him. And God was like, oh, when I first saw you in the burning bush, you wouldn't look at me. But now you want to see me? Mm, no. Bitch, please. And God was like, fine. Chapter 34. God has no mental space right now for the Israelites. So he makes Moses rewrite the tablets. And then he absolutely simps for God and really strokes his ego. He wants him to come join the Israelites again. And it worked. He spends 40 days and 40 nights writing the tablets without food or water. Kind of harsh, God. But when he comes down the mountain with the tablets, he is glowing because he was talking with the Shekhinah the whole time. His afterglow was insane and he had to wear a veil over his face because the Israelites were like, whoa. And then he stripped it off when he would talk to God slash the Shekhinah. In some ways, Moses was a stripper. Shabbat Shalom and thank you so much for spending a year learning Torah with me.